welcome to another round of Ladies Playing Indies. And today, we are playing the Yogg, which is not a really... Shut up, Caesar. Like I was saying, we are playing the Yogg, and we are once again joined by Annie. Because she's awesome, and she's a lady like us. And she's on webcam today. Let's do this. Let's play the Yogg. Um, for those that never have heard of the Yogg, it's a storytelling game, and it's got little fun things you can do, and... You'll just see. We're going to play a couple rounds. It's pretty fun. It reminds me a lot of uh, all the games I like to play, like FTL and Oregon Trail, because things happen. Since I've played this game... Annie, have you played this game? I totes has. Okay, well then, uh, Amanda, I you can choose your character first. Uh, I want to be the prim lady on the right. She looks great. Annie, who do you want to be? Uh... I'll take Captain Stash at the bottom there. The Yogg okay, will be okay. here in six weeks, and no one expects it. Not a one of us. We just keep on living our lives week by week, unaware. So there's all these different areas we can go hang out, and different events happen. Um, I'm going to go to the gardens, because look at those beautiful gardens. And I spend a week in deep meditation. One day, on your way home from the park, you come across a gold ring in the grass. Sweet bling. Upon placing the ring on your finger, orange glowing markings appear on the outside of the band. The markings unravel themselves from the ring and swirl in front of you. They form into what appears to be a fully armored ghost, radiating a beautiful orange light. Whew. Nothing bad ever happens when you put on a ring. Nope. The ghost turns to you and nods before walking away. The ring looks good on you. Of course it looks good on me, damn! Go, I got some good taste in ring. Uh, Lord McStashington is going to go to the tavern, because he looks like the sort of dude who chills in the tavern. How cliche. He's just a bartender, though. That's the difference uh, Stashington will do. You spend the week serving drinks at the tavern. You earn one wealth and tips and gain two charm. Oh, you're so charming. One day, an impromptu drinking contest is held. What are you gonna do? I will enter. Yeah, you, you will. Enter. You better enter. You down pint after pint, drinking as if your life depended on it. You end up laughing. <laughs> well done. When you come to, you find Ooh. yourself in a home you don't recognize, and only your own. <laughs> Sounds like a good night. Let's go to the forest. I don't know what the hell's in the forest. Oh, jeez. Do you want to chop some wood or hunt? I'm going to hunt some. Let's hunt some stuff. Yeah. You spend the week hunting various defenseless critters. One day during your forest excursions, you stumble upon a swarm of rats. Oh, goody. At first you jump backwards in shock, but then you start to hear them conversing with one another. Whoa, talking rats. They call you over. <laughs> I obviously approach. Excuse me, miss, one of them says in a high-pitched voice. Do you think you might be able to help us out with something? Um, sure. Uh, you see, we're trying to elect our new leader, but it seems our votes are completely tied. I'm inexplicably, uh, <laughs> just enamored of these rats. I know, right? I'm yeah. Like, well, what are you electing? Is it a president? Um, we're trying to decide between Seed Paw the Vengeful and Blight Tooth the Wise. Neither of them sound names. very, yeah, yeah new names. Seed Paw the Wise. Where's, like, <laughs> Fluffy Lumpkin's The Sweetness or, like, Pinky? <laughs> the Brain. Yeah. Uh, Seed Paw steps forward. If you vote for me, the rats will have a powerful leader. One who isn't afraid to take our fight to the enemy for St. Steve Paw. Who's the enemy? <laughs> Light tooth steps up. Yeah, who's the enemy? If you vote for me, good miss, I will lead these rats to an age of enlightenment, says Blight Tooth. Rats of Nim! Rats of Nim! Rats, rats of Nim! Yeah, totally. Uh, uh, Blight, to Blight Tooth the Wise, for sure. The show. Half of the rats roar with tiny applause. Seed Paw bows his head and walks back into the mass of rats. Light tooth climbs up to your shoulder and whispers ancient ancient secrets. secrets? Yes, as thanks. I got ancient rat secrets, bitches. I don't I don't know I what those are. All right, clean lab or brew potion. Brew a brew potion. potion. All right. All right, you spend the week experimenting with different potion brews. One day a swarm of rats. Uh oh, is oh, it the same shit. rats? Did the they t rats. Where is Amanda and her rat secrets? I I share none of my secrets. They are biting everything in their way. Everyone else in the building flees immediately. What do you do? Do you run like mad or blast them with magic? You wave your hands and produce a bouquet of flowers. That wasn't the spell you meant to cast. Oh, dear. The rats spot your attempt to exterminate them and begin biting you horribly. Oh, no. You lose uh, one physique. And now you have the Hanta virus. <laughs> oh, no. Hanta virus. Well, you only get that from... Poops. 
<laughs> oh, I mean, they're rats. They're constantly pooping, so... Alright, that was the end of week one. They say right. the last time it came, the Yogg devoured houses whole, stole lives, tore families and family members apart. But that was so very long ago. You know, we could just have Caesar in the chat. I mean, he's a lady. Although I see Hi, Michelle, you're looking mighty manly. <laughs> I'm even... I'm even getting my lady hair down. You're getting your lady hair down? Alright, I'm gonna attend a ball. Because <laughs> I'm fucking amazing. And I got that ring. I spend the week attending fancy gatherings. Well, that sounds less about what I did at Emerald City. So cute! Oh my god, we should cosplay the Yogg. One day the king approaches me. Whew. Oh my! Excuse me, but you look like someone who I can confide in, he says. Well, Ew. let me tell you. I really want a prince to take over the throne, but the queen and I, what does that mean, aren't exactly right. active in the bedroom. Oh! oh. He blushes a little. I don't know. Is this guy being a total creeper? Do you have any advice on how I could romance the queen, so to speak? Teach the king your ways. I mean, I think I have, based on that, I have to teach the king my ways. Oh, man, I spent... Oh, I thought that was more of an innuendo than I thought it was. I go through scenarios with the king. I'm like, and then you put her leg on your chest. By the end of it, he's just as charming as you are. Oh, I'm so charming! Yeah, I mean, that's all I really want to be in life, is charming and skilled at fucking. He thanks you and hands you a large sack of coins as a reward. I'm rich with three. Three?! That is not a large sack of coins, king! Let me- I just spent like four hours drawing diagrams for you! I drew you so much smut, king! Yeah, I let you read my fanfiction and everything! Oh, just some random chicken talk to at a party. <laughs> it's, it's totally jet. The lady wants to hear. I will fight punks in the arena. Oh man, you're living up to like your character. Are you gonna compete or bet? Bad. It best be Lord McStashington. Compete. Here we go. You spend the week fighting brutes in the arena. Ooh, while wandering around the halls between matches, you spot your former lover Kelly. Oh, <laughs> Kelly. Kelly. An awkward exchange happens in which you want to know how they're doing without seeming to care too much. <laughs> I've never encountered this scenario. This is exciting. <laughs> After a few minutes, Jean, one of the more uh, most popular fighters in the arena, butts into the conversation. You know, okay, so like when I read that, I automatically st started reading as one of the most popular, and then I X'd out fighters in the arena and automatically went to butts. So I was like oh, one of the most popular so butts. Popular butt Hey Kelly, sorry to interrupt, but we've got to leave right away if you want to make it to your mother's in time. I pass. You feel it's good that both of you- You really haven't moved on, you went to the tavern and drunk yourself sh like shit-faced, and now you're I fighting guys! I just do that, and that's how a Lord of Statue <laughs> And honestly, Kelly just didn't want a part of that lifestyle. <laughs> Let's go to the slums. Let's see what the I want to go hang out with my rat friends. Are you gonna fight crime or yeah. pickpocket? I'm gonna fight crime. Woman, fight crime. Yeah, I do. I spend the week outsmarting and beating up criminals. It's lots of finance. Uh -huh. okay. One day, while wandering the slums, you notice that the stones used to line the road seem to have a certain pattern to them. You don't manage to figure out the mystery at all, but you still feel pretty smart for noticing the pattern. The rats didn't tell you the most okay. important <laughs> secret. Alright, Dapper McFuckerson. Where are you going? <laughs> I like that. Uh, I gotta go to the hospital. I did get bitten by rats. <laughs> this is true, that is a thing that occurred. Uh, I'm gonna tend to patients. Yeah, you are. Dapper motherfucker <laughs> is a doctor, apparently. You spend the week diagnosing and tending to- Wait, 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 you have no credentials to be diagnosing <laughs> people. I, no, it's fine, I got this. Okay, <laughs> okay. <laughs> You're all gonna die. Ugly leeches somehow escaped from their containers. No! I didn't clean up. This is what happens when you leave Caesar in charge of things. He lets the bloodletting leeches out. Leeches start flooding into the hallway. You have a problem with horrible things. <laughs> like, who's flooding in him? There are people screaming everywhere as leeches slither toward them. How fast are these leeches? The last thing I, like, I thought leeches were Somebody like... Somebody do slugs. something! Yells one of the doctors. Best false step. <laughs> 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 wait, 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 you're zapping him? Oh, I'm fucking zapping That him. went so well last time. Yeah. 
I wave my hand, unleashing a wave of magic to disintegrate the leeches. The leeches all poof into dust. Well, at least you didn't offer them flowers this time. I, I don't saved know your the problem. hospital. With my quick thinking, I'm just, I'm just saying. All right. It was on us in a heartbeat, or so the stories go. The earth shook, the air went still. Week three, week three. Where am I gonna go? Where am I gonna go? Uh, oh gosh, I don't want to go anywhere. But maybe I'll go in the forest. Maybe I'll find some deer friends or something. One day you stumble upon a dryad picking flowers in a field. Upon noticing you, she runs up to you excitedly. Excuse me, Excellent. miss. Yeah? I'm good at dancing. I just went to the ball last week. Don't you know how hot dryads are? Come on. I mean, they're pretty beautiful. But nobody else has been around to dance with, she sighs. I fucking would love to dance! She giggles and takes you by the hand. She starts humming out a song, and the two of you dance together in the middle of the forest. Oh, so cute! You accidentally step on our toes. Oh no. oh, no. What? I was just at the fucking palace ball. Like, I shouldn't be better than this. <laughs> doing crazy forest dancing. She's doing forest dryad dancing. It's it's too intense for me to keep up with. After the third time, she stops you. She thanks you for the dance and limps off into the oh. night. You practice dancing a little. I feel like you should lose six charisma for stepping. No, up. I don't lose charisma. I'm so charming. Look at my charm. I got eight charms. Well, you know, I'm gonna go to uh, slums. Are you gonna fight crime? I have. Oh my god! Look at your little mask. Oh, That's it. adorable. A nice mask. Bro. You spend the week outsmarting and beating up criminals. One night, a man walks up to you. Excuse me, sir. Feeling a little <laughs> tiny Whoa. ass. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah, you are. Proposition. Ooh, for only a small amount of coin, I can make Do it feel all night. Do it. Do it. Do you even have a small amount of coin? Uh, no. I don't have a small amount of coin. You I'm pretty sure. I have enough to pay a prostitute. Oh, you are thanks. so poor. Oh, jeez. No, thanks. <laughs> You're lost! Uh, I'm gonna go to the tavern, and I'm gonna drink. Cheers. Hooray! I spent the entire yes, week getting yes. wasted! I gained two charm and one physique. One day, a tall, dark stranger walked into the bar. Ooh! Fuck him! Fuck him! Yeah! Everyone goes silent. Not as good? Word around these parts is you folk are having a bit of rap. <gasps> oh! So you rat friends! Rat. Your secret rat. rats! Dude. I'm a magic hyper. I'll gladly get rid of them, but it'll cost all ya. Uh, ignore him, because those rats are my rats. Except for the rats that- Is that a towel? Oh no, they did that on my command, I'm sorry. Fine then, he what said. What <laughs> knowledge. Not my problem. We aren't doing well this week. <laughs> is that a towel? Alcohol gets you physique because it's like constitution. And constitution is part of it. You're gonna go to the gardens? Yeah. Look at the garden. you manscape the garden. Manscape the gardens for you, ladies. <laughs> <laughs> ladies. Uh, my book, my spend the week maintaining the plants in the royal garden. Look at that swan. You yes, One that is all. I gained beer belly physique. Snoozing on the grass. You there, young person. Nice. He waves you over. I'm having an awful time trying to nap in the bright sun. What accent is that? First world problems. Do you mind giving me some shade? Yeah. He doesn't Did seem you? to know how trees work. No. The wise and the man sleeping peacefully in your shadow. The sun is sweltering, and after some hours, you begin to feel faint. Gradually, everything grows dark. I collapse on the dude. Ah, oh, you press the head on the dude. Squish. Ah, my bones! It's evening in the garden, and an ancient gnarled tree stands where the old man was sleeping. Oh, jeez. For witnessing this miraculous event, you gain one magic. Oh, yay. It was a triad. She was fucking with you. You witness it, you were passed the fuck out. And then the world was a howling fury, chaos, screaming, the sound of all we knew being pulled in half. Week four. I'm so excited about it, Anna. <laughs> I'm really excited. Oh, jeez. I spend the week in deep meditation, because that's Aww. what I like to do. I gain one magic and two mind. Walking past a pond one day, I see a fat little frog sitting on a lily pad. Oh, please miss the frog bags. I'm not a frog at all, but an enchanted prince. If you could see your way to kissing me, it would break the curse and return me to normal. 
it. Well, I might as well because I totally like helped the king out, and this is a prince, so yeah. You bend down and kiss the frog. Feel a curious stirring like a curse trying to break. Unfortunately, you don't seem to be magical enough to get Aww. the job done. Sad. Aww. Oh, the frog Aww, thanks me for my efforts and hops off sadly. You wake up the next morning with a bad case of lipwarts. Lose one charm? No! I will go to the forest. And I'll Fine. chop some wood, because that is a thing that people must You have. look like you would chop some good wood. Mm -hmm. <laughs> chop, get out of some wood. That's you spend the week wood. cutting down trees in the village. One day, you come across a group of people in the woods. From the expressions on their faces, they appear to be lost. Sad. Rob them. I'm gonna help them. <laughs> if I crime, I can help them. <clears throat> you confront the group. That doesn't seem like a helpful word, but yeah. <laughs> and try to help them find their way back in town. Like, hey, you lost. <laughs> I'm gonna help you. <laughs> <laughs> Extremely grateful. The group gives you a small token of their appreciation. You oh wow! Well. You All got right. super rich. These like random travelers almost gave as much as the grateful king. Let's go to the hospital. And okay. I too will pretend I'm a doctor. Yeah, you know what's Ten up. Ten patients. One day, while in the maternity ward, you notice a woman about to give birth. Oh, run away! Run away! Run away! The baby she births is no ordinary baby, however. Um, Give a baby. The skin is pitch black and shiny, and its eyes glow like an orange flame. Excellent! Great. It's Hellboy! <laughs> it wrestles itself from the doctor's hand and tries to fly away. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. Stop that demon, yells the doctor. Like, this is something that happens every day. You put yourself between the demon and the exit. The, ba <laughs> the baby demon barrels past you and out the door, flying off into the night sky. I have failed. <laughs> uh, I think it's my turn to go to the palace. Oh yes, it's the palace. Uh, I should attend a ball because I'm a dapper motherfucker. Of course. Oh, oh yeah, look how I fancy I am. You You're so great. One day, I overhear the jester tell a joke to a group of people. Everyone laughs, but I didn't understand the joke at all, which is bullshit, because pull up my stats, I'm pretty fucking smart, I'm just saying. You got a nine mind. I'm as smart as you. Just as smart as you. I will try and figure out the joke on my own, because I got this. Several hours later, <laughs> I figure it out, and a small chuckle is had. Oh, <laughs> uh, you so... <laughs> that thinking gave my mind a workout. I gained one mind. Good job. When it arrives this time, how will we fare? Will we once more rebuild, move on, be strong, or have we forgotten? I'm like, the yog is coming in two weeks. I'm just gonna fucking dance until it gets here. Might as well celebrate until the horrible death reigns upon us. One day, the court. Wait a second, this sounds familiar. Would you learn to juggle? Uh, I'll teach you everything I know for a small sum. Learn how to juggle. You spend the day with the jester practicing your juggling technique. Oh, I improved dramatically. I gained two finesse. And I gained another two finesse, because I'm so finessical. Jester is something else. Jillian would be so proud. Um, I will go to the garden. Because... Are you going to landscape or meditate? I'm going to landscape. I'm going to just... I, oh, you make an elephant! One day, an old woman approaches you. Lots of olds in these gardens. Yeah. <laughs> I have a small pouch of magic beans. Would you be interested? Oh, uh, magic beans are always a good idea. Of course I would. Spend one wealth on the beans. Beans. Later, you decide to plant them in a small, rarely visited part of the garden. Don't fuck up my old man tree. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go to the arena. Are you gonna bet or compete? I'm gonna compete. I'm gonna compete. Huh. Spend the week fighting Ace. groups in the arena. In your dress. Oh. Yeah, look at that sweet sword. During a match, another warrior's weapon is knocked from their grasp. You barely manage to avoid it. With a sickening crunch, it destroys the knee of a nearby- Oh, jeez! <laughs> jeez Louise! Wow. He accuses you of causing him harm by not stopping the flying weapon. Sounds like an angry man. What a dick. He takes me to court! Shit! <laughs> Litigation, guys. Uh, defend myself. Yeah, You're smart. I don't have any wealth. Objection! <laughs> holding your wait, holding you responsible for a stray weapon is absurd. The judge agrees and dismisses the case. Sorry about your deep, bro. I knew you'd see my way. 
<laughs> I am awarded too well for, from the plaintiff for frivolous accusations. I really want, like, Good. the people's court music to start playing. Like, dun, 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 dun. <laughs> uh, I'm going to chop wood in the forest. Oh, oh. Oh, oh yeah, that doesn't uh -oh. look creepy as shit. Uh oh. Uh oh. Followed uh -oh. by rustling of lead. Uh oh. Uh, uh, stand and fight. From your hand. Oh, you're so dead. You're dead. Alright, I'm dying. I black out. When I come to, my whole body feels warm, and the gash in my chest is just- No, you're fine. Oh, excellent. You're fine. I lose three magic. It ate your magic. Okay, the Yogg. It's almost here. Almost. Almost. Great. I want to meditate in the gardens again. We're all landscaping each other's stuff, and we're just like, nope, meditating like crazy. I'm like, so these, these trees look so landscaped that I should just meditate. One day. Yeah. See? See? The beans! They did something! I noticed the beanstalk. I'm not gonna eat the beanstalk. I'm gonna water it. If plants could express emotions, it let me know how delighted it is to be watered. Oh, that's it? Spend your last week alive. I'll bartend again. I'm, I'm, I'm a giving person. One day, while in the tavern, you hear a large commotion outside. No. I'll go outside. I wanna see what all this is about. Outside, you see a crowd of angry people carrying torches and pitchforks. Oh, jeez. Kill the dryad, they chant in the first No, not my dryad, friend. We danced. Pricking your way through the mob, you find a dryad running away. I was just looking for someone to dance with. Oh. I was... I was okay. Oh, you kept stepping on her feet. You shout at the top of your lungs to the crowd to stop what they're doing. You hear murmurs in the crowd. Soon enough, the crowd disperses. Well done. The dryad runs up to you and gives you oh. a Adorable. Uh, Zeta tells us the dryad couldn't run away because of her injured foot. Yeah, oh, well done, yeah. Oh. <laughs> And I will do administration work because that sounds boring as hell. One day you hear somebody shouting something in the hallway. There's a bomb in the palace, they scream. Uh oh. This seems kind of out of period. There is a mass panic as people try to desperately escape the palace walls. Um, locate, uh, yeah, locate and disarm the bomb. I'm pretty smart. You run deeper into the castle, trying to figure out where the explosive are, explosives are hidden. You manage to find them in the wine cellar disguised oh, as barrels of wine. It wasn't me. I drink them. The bomb appears to be <laughs> on a detonator that is controlled by a powerful magic. You realize immediately that you won't be able to figure it out and get out of the building as quickly as you can. You're almost out. Oh no, and the bomb goes off. No! It's a huge explosion that knocks you through a wall. Now the castle's all fucked. Yeah, you fucked up the castle. I didn't mean to! I was just doing paperwork! Let me go back to the alchemy tower. Oh man, you are a furry son of a bitch. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not much of a lady anymore. I'm also <laughs> getting significantly stronger. Werewolf, werebear, were rat, were quaka. One day, I feel the searing pain course through my through me as my body contorts against my will. Oh, that sounds awful. Fur erupts from everywhere, and my teeth turn jagged and sharp. Dang. Sounds like a good night. Oh no, you're gonna eat everybody! Eat all of us! No. The next just... few hours are a blur. What have you done? The next day in my bed, naked and coated in blood. This really sounds like a good night. This sounds like a great I night. Let's go. I take a look in the mirror and notice I'm completely back to normal now. Yeah, but you're covered in blood. And mm -hmm. naked. That's normal. That's normal, that's fine. Yeah, it's, it's fine. I feel like, whatever all that was, it's, it's all out of my system. Let's <laughs> walk outside. Uh, I don't know what Alright, alright. The, the storm arrives in the night. By the morning it still rages. For three full days the tempest puts puts us through a grinder, drowns us, crushes us, ruins us. But then it ends. We see the graveyard our home has become. Our home! Does anything yet live? Is it... Are we past saving? Choose your role. Alright, well, I will be the tailor, because I think that's going to be help most helpful for, for Ness. Yeah, probably. I volunteer okay. to weave and mend clothing for the survivors to keep warm. You make and mend clothing faster than anyone would have ever expected. It's because I'm so nice. fanatical. Hold on. Are the socks adorable? Because I know how you love socks. I mean, probably. They are adorable. They're in a sock, so. right. And scarves and bonnets. I got all this stuff from Morgan Trail. Stashington. Elder. Look at my band capris. They're the best. <laughs> you take it upon yourself to help rebuild the town by hand. 
You were built Actual almost food. fairly quickly and efficiently. Amanda, you want to be the doctor? Yeah, let's do doctor. You take it upon yourself to help the sick and injured from the yog. You're able to keep most patients in stable condition. Most of them. It's fine. Hey, hey, Some it's are fine. even able to get up and back to work in no time. I gotta be the smelter. You volunteered to smelt your now useless coins into building materials. You don't have much in the way of coin, but what little you do have, you melt down. The small amounts of metal you provide are enough to make a few tools and maybe a door hinge or two. Wow, I'm fucking useless. You have this to feel like you need a coin. Effort a little. So to smelt, you need coins. You lose one. I mean, you could just eat all the survivors. <laughs> and so we set about our task once more living our lives, this time in a way we might never have expected or even wanted, but in the end... It was a struggle, but a struggle we never abandoned. Our home had been stripped apart. We did not let it languish. And whether we succeed or fail, we did our best. Who knows if the Yogg will visit us again? Who knows if we will ever be, can ever be, ready for it? Wait, does that mean we fucking failed? We're gonna find out. I think we succeeded. Oh, okay. Okay. After the Yogg, Anna continued her meditation for several years. Though she never found enlightenment, she did open a healing center in West Hollywood. Now she's a guru to the stars. Lord Annie McStashington tried working construction after all this newfound usefulness. Eventually, however, he ended up on the streets again. He wound up fighting in Vietnam. He was reported missing in action July 4th, 73. Amanda became the youngest head of medicine at the local hospital. She fell in love with one of her interns and they moved in together. She was later diagnosed as having stress-induced delusions when her roommate married someone else. Caesar tried to find the formula for his werewolf potion again. Instead, he invented crack cocaine. He now lives in a mansion slightly bigger than the castle. He's only tried it once. All right, well, everybody, thanks uh, for joining us for another Ladies Playing Indies. Uh, you can follow us on our appropriate Twitter handles. Um, oh, yeah. yeah. You should join us next week. Uh, same time, same bat channel. Don't forget to join us next week and... I guess we'll just see you guys later.